here everybody! Today, instead of doing a monthly favorites video for the month of December, because you know, it's already like pretty well into January anyways, I've decided to do a best of 2015 video. Pretty much what I would do for like a monthly favorites video, but I picked the best of the best of the very, very best. So I've got a box full of favorite things to talk about, so let's just dive right in. I'm a total handbag junkie, so for me to pick just one purse that I loved the most this year is really impressive, and I don't know if I've ever showed this in a video, but this is a purse that uh, you've probably seen on Instagram a lot, if you follow me on Instagram. It is this little YSL purse. This is the, gosh, I don't really understand. What's the name? Sac du jour, like the baby one. It's very small, black crossbody, and surprisingly, you can fit a bunch of stuff in here. Lots of stuff, mine's been incredibly messy. Because I could not pick favorite items of clothing, I picked my two favorite stores that I really got into this year. I've always been kind of wearing and shopping at Madewell, but in the last year or so, I've gotten way more into it. I love their clothes, especially for the fall, winter, but I've even really started liking their spring lines and that stuff too. It's kind of like minimalist. I think it's super cute and I love that everything just goes together and that's been kind of what I've been wearing a lot. And the second one should come as absolutely no surprise and that is Show Me Your Moo Moo. I absolutely love Moo Moo. You guys have seen pictures of me from their photo shoots all over my Instagram and Twitter and I just love their clothes. I think they're so incredibly cute. That's what I wore all at Coachella. It's some of my favorite summer things to wear and then this fall and winter I've gotten so into their like little dresses and everything is so flattering and so cute and so versatile. I'm just, I'm obsessed. My skincare favorite for 2015 is exactly the same as it was for 2014, which is how you know it works. Like it was last year, my favorite skincare line is First Aid Beauty. You can get it at Sephora. I just grabbed a couple of my favorite products. This is the facial radiance pads. These ones are actually almost empty because I brought them home for the holidays. And then I actually used this this morning, which is their oatmeal mask. And then one of my newest favorites from the brand is actually coming out in January, but they gave me the opportunity to try it out early and I have been so obsessed with it. But first, <coughs> let me choke and cough. <coughs> This is brand new, it comes out this month, and it's their Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. I love this. It's like this gel water-based serum. It's so freaking amazing. I feel like people my age in their young 20s kind of tend to stray away from serums when they're actually something you should really, 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 really be using on your skin. I've only been using this for a little while, but I know it's going to be a favorite long into 2016, just because it leaves my skin so soft and so hydrated without making my skin get greasy or shiny throughout the day. It adds extra hydration to prevent those pieces or places in your skin where you kind of get a little bit drier, but it doesn't make your oily parts more oily. <sighs> I'm like already terrified of wrinkles and it's supposed to help keeping your skin look youthful and I forever want to look 16, so. I love their face masks, love their face washes, their body washes, toners, their lip conditioners, their serums, their eye creams, honestly everything, and I'm just obsessed. It's something that you're gonna be hooked on and all of my friends are already completely hooked on and this is definitely going to be a favorite for a very long time. I got way, way, way less into high heels and things like that, and I kind of really stuck to sneakers. These are two of my favorites. These are just my black New Balances, and then these ones are so dirty because I wore them to my friend's fraternity formal. So, dirt. So what happens when Megan goes out. But these are my Adidas, and I just, my lip gloss fell out of there. And if I wasn't living in sneakers, I was probably wearing a pair of Stuart Weitzman boots. These are one of my favorite pairs. They are gray, thigh-high, over-the-knee boots. They're amazing. I honestly really haven't worn anything else aside from sneakers and boots. Now let's go on into my makeup favorites. The Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. It's what I'm wearing on my skin right now, and I just love it. Again, because my skin has gotten so much better over the last year, I don't feel like I need something that isn't quite so insanely full coverage. I love this because it looks really natural on your skin, like you will bowl in this way. These concealers have been a favorite all year, you guys know, in my Get Ready With Me videos, in monthly favorites videos, in all of that, the Herb Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I recommend this to everybody. I love using this to brighten my under eye and highlight my face. I don't use it to cover blemishes. I love that these are like batons. I use this for the under eye. I think it's amazing. I cannot go a day without it. This is my Holy Grail powder, and I have to thank Casey Holmes for it. It's the Givenchy something matte transparent powder. I love this. I've had this for a couple months now and I'm not running low at all, or as far as I know, I can still hear powder sloshing around in there. I love this. It's an amazing powder to set your makeup, especially if you have oily skin, it keeps it on for so long. Speaking of keeping makeup on forever, I could not live without this. This is the L'Oreal Pro Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. This is what 
kept my makeup on my face through all of Coachella, but this is the best makeup setting spray. If you have trouble keeping your makeup on your face and like off other things, get this. I wanted to do a shout out to my favorite mascara because this hasn't changed in years and I think that speaks so highly of it because I've been using this since it got launched and I really have tried other ones over and over again but I keep going back to its benefits their own mascara. I think it's amazing. Another favorite of mine for this year is I got really into doing eyelash extensions. I have eyelash extensions right now. It just makes my life so much easier, especially when I'm getting ready. I can get ready so quick and I'm ridiculously allergic to adhesive lash glue. It makes my eyes water and cry off. So wearing false lashes on set is so incredibly hard for me because my eyes just get bloodshot and then I, it just, just does not look great at all. And so I've been doing eyelash extensions, but then for my bottom lashes or to blend it together, if like the lashes start falling out after a while, I've been using this and I love it. And if you guys are in the LA area and you want to know where I get my lashes done, I will have their website linked down below. Another favorite of 2015, which you definitely won't be able to tell from this video, is spray tans. Uh, my spray tan is like completely off and I'm incredibly pale right now, but that's okay because I was just in San Francisco where it was 30 degrees every day. California, why are you so cold? My last makeup favorite of the month is Makeup Geek Eyeshadows. I got this palette, I want to say at the beginning of this year, something around there and I legitimately have not really opened up another eyeshadow palette since and I'm obsessed with it I just made my own I picked a bunch of different colors I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis but when I do they are these a massive favorite for 2015 has been coffee I recently in the last couple of months have discovered that if I throw a bunch of stevia and a bunch of different flavored like chocolatey syrupy things and all that stuff I can make something that hardly tastes like coffee that gives me the caffeine big fan my fridge constantly looks like cribs I love having lots of beverages so when people come over they can just have whatever they want I love Zevia which is a soda sweetened with stevia I love La Croix which are like bubbly waters but one that I've been obsessed with and these are the ones like I hoard for myself these are the sparkling iced beverages this one is an iced tea one it's a peach one so good I leave the caps open and I let them get flat because I don't really like carbonated beverages it's very good I'm still watching Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder, which are the shows that I talked about in my last year's favorites video, but this year I got so into Parenthood. I binge watched Parenthood in the span of like two weeks and I loved it. I thought it was so incredibly good. That's like the kind of show that I want to be on as like an actor. That would be amazing. Oh, obsessed. This year I discovered my absolute favorite TV show like ever and that is Game of Thrones. I love it. It is so, so, so incredibly good. I watched it on HBO Go and it is amazing. If you're like a fantasy fan, even if you're not, I think everybody can get into it. it takes a couple episodes, but it is amazing. If you haven't started watching Game of Thrones, I don't know what's wrong with you. Scream Queens came out this year and I am a diehard fan. My friend Kyle and I watch it together and we just, we quote it and it is so incredibly hilarious. I'm obsessed. And then because it wouldn't be me without talking about something related to food or cooking, I recently discovered The Great British Bake Off and I didn't get out of my bed after Christmas for a couple of days because that is literally all I watched. It is amazing. Baking is like one of my favorite hobbies and then watching British people bake, it's like combining two of my favorite things, British people and baking. I have a couple of favorite movies from 2015 and the first one is Inside Out. If you guys haven't seen it, it is so incredibly cute, but despite the fact that it's a cartoon, it is incredible incredibly, incredibly emotionally heavy. So you have to be mentally prepared for that, but it is so good. If you want something a little raunchier, I loved Trainwreck, which was Amy Schumer's movie. I get that we look alike a lot. That's like one of the pe things that people tell me all the time. It's like, oh my gosh, you look like Amy Schumer. Your voice sounds like Amy Schumer. And I'm like, I would be so down because I love her. She's so funny. And then I thought the movie was really good. And I really just liked the kind of different take on um, a romantic comedy with a woman like that, which I think is much more realistic towards women these days, as opposed to like the, oh, woe well, is me, which I hate. Another movie I loved this year was Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. This was an indie film that actually won at Sundance. So incredibly good. I love the cinematography of it all. It reminds me a lot of Perks of Being a Wallflower, so if you liked that movie, I'm sure you would love it. The acting in it was amazing. Instead of going on about how great Justin Bieber's album was, and Adele's, and everybody else who's came out in 2015, I decided, I said 2015 really weird, didn't I? I'm just making a playlist on Spotify. I love making playlists for you guys on Spotify. It's what I listen to. So if you wanna check out my favorite songs from the entire year, like literally spanning the whole year, I'm gonna have that linked down below. And if you follow me on Spotify, 
Spotify, you can see other playlists that I have for like when I'm flying on planes and other weird random playlists that I make. You can check them out and you can see what I listened to last year, which I'm gonna go back and listen to and figure out what I liked last year. I bet it's like a lot of like Miley Cyrus bangers. <laughs> Social media is always a favorite of the year, but this year I got really into Snapchat. If you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, it is just at itmegan. Don't ask me why it's not it's Megan. I couldn't tell you. I was stupid and just made it at itmegan. It's kind of a fun way to do a more behind the scenes look at my life. And I've kind of stepped away from vlogging a little bit just because I've been really into keeping my personal life a little more private this past year, which is actually proving to be quite nice and kind of relaxing a little bit more. I feel like I've been a little less stressed because of that, but it's so fun for me to post like weird stuff of me and my friends just doing weird things on Snapchat. So if you guys wanna check that out, go follow me on Snapchat. My other favorite app should come as no surprise. The first one is Postmates, which is instant food to your door. Amazing. And the other one is Instacart, groceries to your door. Amazing. 2015 was like the year of figuring out everything I can do to not leave my house when I don't have to. I have invite codes for both of those apps if you guys want a discount. Account. It's amazing. I'll have those linked down below so you can download them. Use my code. Don't have to use my code. You can if you want. Uber was also a favorite of 2015. Not because I went out and partied a lot, but because I was very lazy about filling my car up with gas. I have an Uber code too. I'll list that down below. And my ultimate favorite app of this year has to be, I mean, <clears throat> obviously my own app. What? Whoa. This year I actually released my own app. It's just my name, Megan Rinks, it was trending on the app store when it first came out. And then the Kardashians one came out and it was like, okay, bye. Cool. It's just a really fun platform for me to get to talk to you guys. I love having like my Tumblr and my Pinterest and Instagram and Twitter and all of those things. But I think having my own app is really cool because it's so community driven and community based. It's not just posts for me, is that I get to stalk you guys. But you know, stalking you guys is like my favorite activity. And those were my favorites of 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys had a good year. Um, I can definitively say that some parts of this year were great and some parts of this year were absolutely awful. But it, it, it kind of, it is what it is. So I hope you guys had an amazing holiday season and that you're looking forward to the new year. I know that I definitely am. There are a lot of things that I'd like to leave in 2015 and I'm gonna do that. I'm pretty excited for everything that's to come with this channel, with a lot of other projects that I'm working on that I get to share with you guys. Um, but more than that, I'm just, I'm really excited to kind of embark on the next year of my life and I hope you guys are as well. Anything that's been holding you down for the year before or any sort of insecurities or inhibitions or inhibitions is not the right word. <laughs> any sort of insecurities or things that you felt like were dragging you down last year, things that you kind of want to shake off and get rid of, just know that the new year is a perfect excuse to kind of be the best version of you that you want to be, which is something that I say that I'm striving to do. So I hope you guys can embark on that journey with me because I don't know, being in your early 20s is really hard. <laughs> and being a teenager is hard. Being a middle schooler is hard. I think every aspect of life is kind of making it up as you go along. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I love you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. What is something that you learned about yourself last year, 2015, and what is something that you really want to focus on bettering yourself for 2016? Let me know your resolutions, all of the above down below, and I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye!